Leviathan is the first story-driven DLC for Mass Effect 3 since the controversial release of From Ashes. Leviathan might just set the bar high for featured Bioware DLC. Should you pick it up, or are the secrets here not worth uncovering? Any questions? Something known only as Leviathan is killing Reapers, and considering the dire situation the base game of Mass Effect 3 presents, that's some welcome news. After learning of the situation from Dr. Bryson, you will be on the hunt for the Reaper Killer and hope that it is really on your side. Like much of the Mass Effect 2 DLC, it's not really about the story, it's how it's told. This roughly two and a half hour trek will take you to plenty of varied environments, though you will have to return to the Citadel every so often. Unlike the limited scope of previous Mass Effect DLC, here you'll be taken to a mining facility, a canyon of a desert world, the depths of an ocean world, and a new area of the Citadel. For the varied locales alone, Leviathan complements the main game very well. The voice acting is still up to Bioware's high standards, and I noticed one huge improvement from Mass Effect 2. In DLC for that game, unless a mission required you to bring a certain character along with you, your squad mates were basically mute. Now you'll be in dialogue with your party plenty, whether you brought along Garrus, Liara, or James. The missions here are also up to the standards of those in the base game, and there's plenty of great reaper killing action here, with some variety like escorting a drone or briefly piloting a mech. This might not be a Mass Effect add-on if it didn't include new toys to play with, though the weapon mods here like the SMG recoil system, pistol ultralight materials, and the oh-so-awesome assault rifle Omniblade could be unlocked in Mass Effect 3's multiplayer mode. It's nice to have these readily available in single player. However, the M55 Argus rifle and the AT-12 Raider shotgun can be found in Leviathan, but they were previously pre-order bonuses. The AT-12 is the only new weapon for Xbox owners, as it was an Origin exclusive. Though I loved most everything about Leviathan, the setting, presentation, characters, action, and crazy ending, I would have loved to see a major choice to be made. Remember the Overlord DLC's ending that forced you to make a tough decision, where you wanted to do the right thing but had to give up a major resource in doing so? Nothing like that is here, and would have rounded out an already awesome add-on. But otherwise, there's a lot to like here. If you still haven't given up on Mass Effect 3, this is a solid investment. The gameplay is still fun, and unraveling the secret of Leviathan is worth it. I would definitely go as far as saying this is the best story-driven DLC for Mass Effect since Lair of the Shadow Broker.